What were your emotions like when you pulled into the, uh, the yard today? Um, just excited, you know. Um, yeah, I'm just excited, man. It's it's obviously been a long time since I've played here, but just to see what this place has turned into over the last couple years. Um, obviously, these guys are playing really, really good baseball. Just a chance for us to to get to see where we're at competition-wise. Um, but yeah, man, I'm I'm just excited for I'm excited for my teammates here to to see what this place is like playing this type of atmosphere. Um, but I think more than anything, just excited to see the, the the people that you know I created really good relationships with over the last five, six, seven years. How much pride do you take in what you helped create here in Philadelphia? Because you were here with some of the lean, lean years. Yeah, a lot, right? Um, I said this, you know, during my time here, but I'd always heard about what this place could be like. Um, and when I got called up, it, like you said, we had some down years, um, some empty, some empty stadiums. Um, but everybody, you know, talked about Red October, talked about the, the, the rally towels, and there's the photo down in Clearwater of the, of the 08 World Series and what that's like. Um, so getting, just to get to see the, the transformation of where, I, where this place was when, when I got called up and what, you know, we as a group were able to kind of turn it into and into what it is now. Um, yeah, it's, 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 it's easy to be proud of that, right? Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm excited. Like I said, just to get to see that again. What kind of reaction are you expecting, Reese? I don't know. If, how do you think you'll feel like the emotions once you get out there? I don't know if I'm expecting anything except for it to be loud. Um, I've, I've been in this place many, many times before when guys that have played here and um, gotten great, great receptions back. So um, you know, I'm hopeful that that's in the cards. But you know, I said this a couple weeks ago. Um, not that anybody ever wants to get booed, but when you're in a, a, a visiting player and you're getting booed, that usually means something's going right for your team. So um, a good, clean, loud environment is hopefully what, what we're going to get tonight. What was it like coming to the ballpark today, like going to a different clubhouse, you know, being in a, a familiar place? Yeah. With some oh, weird, for sure. Um, but, you know, we're, we're far enough into the season now that just walking in with the – with with my teammates, walking in with the coaching staff. Um, it's a little bit longer of a walk to the visitors clubhouse here than, than the home clubhouse. Um, but yeah, weird to, weird to start, but it'll be great, you know, I think once the first pitch comes. Aaron Nola said that everybody over there misses you. How much do you miss the Phillies? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I miss those guys a lot, right? Those are my friends, um, just like on a human standpoint. Um, you know, it's a business still, I, 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 first and foremost, right? Um, I, I have no ill will or no hard feelings on anybody in this organization. I have absolutely great memories here. Um, so yeah, I mean, yeah, I miss them as friends. I, I don't, I don't get to speak to them as much. Everybody's doing their thing and trying to to have a successful season. Um, you don't get to talk to to these guys as much, but um, I think more than anything, I'm excited to play against my friends now, right? Um, that always seems to mean a little bit different, a little bit more. You talk about those friendships. Almost every question that you've asked your former teammates and coaches the last two days about you, the, res the first thing that they say about you is about you as a person and, you, and your character, not necessarily about you as a ball player. What does that mean to you as far as the impact you have on them in that regard? Yeah, I think it means the world, right? Um, this, this is obviously our, our profession, our careers is what we have chosen to do for our job um, but you know good or bad I think the really the one thing that you can hope for is that people respect who you are as a person um, so hopefully that means I went about things the right way I treated people with respect um, and, and some kindness along the way and you know made some sort of impact on a group of people and I think that's something to to hang your hat on really you had some uh, emotional at bats in this building right um, a whole lot of them come to mind what do you think your first at bat will be like tonight emotional yeah for sure um I, i'm i'm kind of a crier i'll probably cry at some <laughs> point today um but i think it just tells you all you need to know about um you know the the energy and emotion that i've been able to grab from this place over the last decade um yeah i mean it's gonna it's gonna be memorable for sure um Hopefully, 
you know, hopefully we don't have to stop the game from crying too much. Any of your, any of your teammates take any uh, bets on those tiers? <laughs> I'm sure they've got some side action going on. Whoever is on the over is probably going to win. So, uh, <laughs> no, nah, I haven't heard any yet. Can you talk about your leadership and just what you've brought to this team, uh, especially with such a young team, being in there every day? How much of that was developed here? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I got to learn um, from a slew of different characters throughout, players, teammates, coaches, front office members, um, you know, about what it what it takes to be a successful big leaguer um, and that and what it takes, you know, as the season evolves and different situations you find yourself in. So um, it's something I take pride in. It's why I, one of the reasons why last year was extremely hard for me, right, not being able to be out there um, with with your guys, whoever your teammates are, um, but excited to be with this group now, and um, I'm glad I'm back out on the field. Something that you know we decided we never really spent much time in a big city like this. Coming from a you know a smaller town on the west coast, um, chance to explore it, and um, you know we ended up loving it so much that we stayed. And I, I'm, it's a it's a great part of great chapter of my life. Um, and I have um, a, a much different and much more of a respect for um, this city and um, just how great it can be. What walk around to you last night or today? Did you have any funny interactions with anybody? Recognize <laughs> uh, well, we got to come in on the you know the backside of a parade day, so I got to see some of what uh, Broad Street can really bring out on a Sunday night. Um, but yeah, you know, just like hey, good luck tomorrow. But not too much luck, and <laughs> of course, right? They gotta see their team win. Um, no, I mean, yeah, it really just brought me right back. I got to go to the coffee shop I, I live right by today, and they happened to recognize us. So, just great interactions throughout so far, and I'm hopeful that the next couple of days bring more of that. Brandon Brandon Marsh told us that even though you guys, you're a right-handed bat, he's a left-handed bat, you're an infielder, he's an outfielder, you should, you guys shouldn't have had the natural interactions that you did have but you made a huge impact on him as he was coming up and you welcomed him with open arms. How much do you realize what an impact you made on the younger players like him and Bohm and, and Bryson Stott? Well, it turned out to be a pretty good player, so hopefully I said some right, some, some good things to him. Um, I mean, that's just the way that I was, I, I got treated when I got ca called up too, you know, and was a young player in this league trying to figure it out. Um, whether it made sense positionally or not, I think we're all, kind of going through the same thing, um, trying to figure out how to be successful Major League Baseball players. So, you know, if I have anything that they can grab onto um, just to help them either, you know, get to their next at bat or get to the next day, um, you're obviously as talented as you can ask for. And sometimes you just need a little bit of clarity to let that talent come out. So um, it's great to hear. Back to the fans, uh, they revere your bat spike home run. It's, it's one of the all timers to them. When you look back at that home run, how do, how do you um, It's hard not to smile, right? Um, but I think I think the best part about it is that it came in the in the first playoff game in this stadium in over a decade. Um, and that's, I think, where that kind of eruption of, of emotion came. Um, it's because this was just built up for so long that um, you know, it just drew that right from the, from the fans. So... Um, yeah, hopefully we'll see it again tonight at some point, see what the reaction's like again. But, um, yeah, definitely a memorable moment. While it's, while it's early, there's still a lot of baseball left. You're third in the National League, Phillies are first. What if you guys met in October and you got to play another October game here, this Should, time on the visitor side? I mean, the playoffs are the playoffs, right? That, those, those are games that you live for. Um, so no matter who we're playing or where it is, um, I'm sure it will be great, but, yeah. I think I'd be lying if I said it did, wouldn't mean a little bit extra. This is a business trip. Real quick, this is a business trip for you. Obviously, you got to focus. But is there something off the field in this town that you're looking forward to? The food. I already ate. I got, I got a chance to have my great meal last night, some great Italian food at Polizzi. Um, no, I mean, you know, I talked about the relationships and getting to see, getting to see just people that I've grown in this game with. Um, so getting to see those guys again, um, and yeah, just getting to play in front of these fans. I think, you know, I didn't. The ending didn't match the rest of the time here, and that's I think something that I'm looking forward to 
kind of getting a, I don't know if closure is the right word, but, um, you know, just kind of moving on from, from that chapter. And um, I think tonight will be a, a nice start for that.